Gemini. <clears throat> hey, Gemini. Um, I've shuffled all your decks. We're good to go. We're going to be using the Wheel of the Year to clarify. We're going to use the uh, Silver Witchcraft. We are going to use these Angels and Ancestors. I've already pulled three for you. We have Fire Guardian, Ignite Your Passion, Broken Arrow, Embrace an Energy of Peace, and Air Guardian, Shift Your Perception. So this says to me changing the way you're seeing something so shifting your perception about and embracing an energy of peace and to get really passionate about it okay so spirit is saying there's something they want you to see differently from a more like from a different perception perspective but also um, from a peaceful place okay i hope that makes sense i've already shuffled everything we're going to jump right into it i'm in a huge hurry today Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know about this weekly reading for Gemini? What is the most important message? There you are. Queen of Swords came right out. Oh, gosh. Uh, Ten of Chalices, Eight of Wands. Nice. What is the most important thing we need to know about this Gemini reading? What is the most important thing we need to know? Gemini reading for anyone who's guided to see this whenever they're guided to see it. This reading could resonate now or later or at any other time that you're guided it is for Gemini, anyone with Gemini placements or anyone else who's guided to see it for whatever reason they're here. What is the most important thing we need to know? Okay, you got two that came out right in the middle and this has to do with clarity on something. All right, let's keep moving here. All right, we got the two of chalices. What else do we, your reading's really nice. It's queen of swords, 10 of chalices, eight of wands, two of chalices, the Ace of Swords and the Moon smack dab in the middle. This is just getting clear on something that you didn't have all the information about before. Gemini reading. The Ten of Pentacles reversed. The Hermit reversed. Again, more clarity coming in here. The only negative card you have is the Ten of Pentacles reversed, but you have the Ten of Chalices in the upright. So that's way too many. Can we just get one or two more, please? One or two more. Gemini weekly reading six of child or six of pentacles I'm sorry uh reversed and what else one more card and the world beautiful great reading guys um I mean there's a, a little bit we can talk about here but what I really see is that there's some kind of clarity coming in with the hermit reversed you've gone within to get some kind of clarity if not you a Virgo has we've got the ace of swords and the moon here this is I've achieved clarity after looking for it right um, so it could have to do with a partnership. It could have to do with a family situation. It, uh, something about the world here. We're closing out an old cycle. We also got the Ten of Cups smack dab in between you and the Eight of Wands. Beautiful energy. All right. So there's something here about getting clear on something, getting clarity about something. It could be family. It could be money. I have to say it really looks family oriented to me because the Ten of Chalices and the Ten of Pentacles are here. But let me just take a peek here. Wow. All right. So, well, wow, seriously? All right. Well, we have the Ten of Swords back here and we have the Tower reversed. And you could be dealing with the Scorpio because you also have the King of Chalices reversed. So we have like uh, the Tower and the King of Chalices, which are both Scorpio cards, sandwiching the ten of swords so you really could be going through something with a scorpio you could have scorpio in your chart and it could be your energy um we also have this empress and she's looking over at the king of pentacles over here and in between that is like um i feel like she or he are defending like their family right so um you know because that's what that seven of wands looks like somebody defending them fa their family so she or he depending on which one you know who's who i'm not sure who's who here all right so as we ca could be both of them right they could be working together defending their family maybe from this scorpio person back here anyway so as we come into the reading here you are queen of swords um i feel like Again, we're talking about family. We're talking about the Ten of Cups. And we're talking about, you know, quick action. Because look at this card. It's like this person's running really fast. Could it be, you know, uh, information or communication? Sure. It could be information coming in that's clearing something up. Because like I said, 
you know, if it is information coming in that's clearing something up, it's most likely coming from a Virgo who got to the bottom of it. Like who, who has this information for you could be this person, right? So anyway, either way, this also could be your energy. So we have somebody here who's getting clear on something. We have information coming in or we have clarity coming in, some kind of forward movement coming in, in some kind of a partnership with the two of chalices here. These two people are pledged to each other. That's why I thought that the two of them could both be defending family um, after something happened with in the back there with the Ten of Swords. But you have the Ten of Swords, the Ten of uh, Cups, and the Ten of Pentacles. Ten, 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 and the world, this cycle's about to end. All right, now we have the Six of Pentacles in the reverse and the Ten of Pentacles are reverse. So we could be talking about some kind of imbalance in finances that are going on. And this could be the thing we're getting clear on, right? Um, so let's find out. Let's find out what we can find out here. So spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know about this Gemini reading? What is most important? First thing I want to look at is the Ten of Chalices. No, I want to look at the Eight of Wands. What's going on with the Eight of Wands here? Gemini reading, Eight of Wands. All right, well, so we have the four of chalices. It's like she's been waiting for something and then it arrives. That's what it looks like to me. Let me get the ten of chalices. What do we need to know, ten of chalices? What's this about? Okay, we've got the three of cups reversed. So, um, again, I feel like this is some sort of something that was disappointing you've been waiting for you've been waiting to come together with someone waiting to communicate with someone waiting there's something here about waiting to something tell me about the two of chalices what about the two of chalices wow two two and two 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 and this always reminds me of two even though it's the uh, six card it's the lovers there's two people hand fasted to each other just like this okay same idea uh, and two of wands a decision to plant seeds together to work together so everywhere i look we got two people who are making a decision to come together on something which is what you were waiting for interesting and cool tell me about the ten of pentacles reversed why is it reversed here what do we need to know about it Gemini reading, just one, that's too many. Just one or two for here for the Ten of Pentacles reverse. Can we get just one or two? Ace of Swords reverse, lack of clarity here. And there's that hermit right there. The hermit went within to get the clarity. All right, so there's been some kind of lack of clarity. It could have to do with family. It could have to do with money. It could have to do with anything, really. Um, and it's held everything up. We were unable to close out this cycle because we didn't have some kind of clarity. And I feel like that's what this information is that's coming in or whatever this is that's coming in that you've been waiting for. Um, tell me about the Hermit Reverse. What is the clarity that's coming in here? Gemini reading. Okay. It's about the Ten of Pentacles reversed right there. The la we didn't, same exact energy. The Hermit reversed here with the Ace of Swords. We did not have clarity on the Ten of Pentacles. So we went within to get the uh, clarity on the Ten of Pentacles. I still don't know what it's about, though, but we have an imbalance here with Pentacles. So let's find out what that is. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles reversed. What is this about? What is the imbalance here? Oh, wow. Look at that. It has to do with the Scorpio. We got the Death card in the reverse as a challenge. Okay, so there could be, again, a Scorpio who was doing something that was um, deceiving someone, that could have been manipulating someone, that could have been betraying someone. Because we have the King of Cups and the Tower sandwiching the Ten of Swords. Something about this imbalance gets found out that a Scorpio is doing something, blocking money stopping child support or something there's something going on here because it could be money for a house 
four of wands here is reversed it could be family money look behind that the four of pentacles somebody greedy i'm telling you there's a scorpio doing something with someone's money someone's like tell me about the ace of swords and the moon what do we need to know about the ace of swords and the moon this is what we didn't know the secrets being um exposed tell me about ace of swords and the moon the truth's coming out here center of the reading Now, you might not know this person as a Scorpio, but they have a strong Scorpio placement. Tell me about this Ace of Swords and the Moon. Gemini reading, please. Okay, well, okay, well, look at that. Oh, mama, we're going to talk about that. We got the Devil. The devil, which is another card of greed. you got greed all over this. We've got Archangel Michael here with temperance. Um, I feel like this will be uh, balanced out with the Queen of Pentacles here. See how she receives her money. This is getting balanced out. It's been about divine timing. This is temperance in reverse. It Something had to be exposed first. So this had to be exposed before it could be balanced out. Wow, unbelievable. Tell me about um, the world here. So remember, we couldn't close out this cycle because there was unfinished business. Now, all of a sudden, the world comes in after this exposure happens. Tell me about the world here. What do we need to know about it? Gemini reading. absolutely look at that the truth comes out knight of swords and look how this person's like i'm delivering the friggin' truth here about what was being hidden the moon wow and that's how we end that cycle the cycle gets closed out because some kind of truth comes out about something that's being hidden it has to do with money or it has to do with family a lot of greedy cards coming out in this reading having to do with a scorpio so i feel like this has to do with you finding out something about like you getting the info this is disappointing though but this information comes out and it really is good for you um there's some kind of a bond with a partner i feel like it's this king of pentacles i feel like whoever your king and queen of pentacles you show up as here somebody who's like protecting the family or protecting you or protect there's some kind of protection in place here and look at it it's like the clarity comes out seven of cups reversed about the ace of pentacles uh page or princess of pentacles it's like where's your money if the all the truth comes out here um i'm gonna look at all this part there's a lot of partnership cards two of cups four of wait two of cups lovers and two of wands this is a decision to work together that's what i'm getting a decision to work together who is this what is this lovers two of wands two of cups what is this look at that the ace of cups and the um coming out of this uh five of cups reverse and also the queen of wands flipped over as well but this is coming out of this um devastation look how all the cups have filled have spilled this person's devastated because there's nothing left but guess what there is something left there's a new beginning coming into this so you might be partnering up with maybe this fire sign but this fire sign came out reverse so i want to take a look at it um tell me about this um the the um the five of wands was at the bottom as well so this could be the person you guys are fighting with really this could be like a sagittarius scorpio cusper or something but i want to take a look at it tell me about this queen of wands reverse because that's coming out on top of the partnership card why is the queen of wands reversed here what's this queen of wands have to do with the ace of cups and the five of um cups reversed why queen of wands reversed king of wands reversed oh my god i'm telling you so this has something to do with um 
this is somebody or something this could even be a couple okay um that did something i'm telling you there's some kind of betrayal around this scorpio but the scorpio could also be a sagittarius a sagittarius scorpio cusper they could either be working together or for some of you it's feminine for some of you it's masculine however or whatever it is um i feel like you have a new beginning coming in i feel i, I feel like someone's helping you i feel like you two come together And you're going to, there's something about um, working together against this person who really is coming through as a, I feel like this person, one of you has strong Virgo. Okay, I can see that here. There's like a strong Virgo placement. And the fire signs, they have strong Scorpio placement. Okay, I hope this makes sense i'm not sure if there's one or two of them it i think it depends on your situation but there was a lot of betrayal here with this ten of swords they caused a lot of a lot of pain right with this ten of swords right there and scorpion energy um i don't know what exactly happened here now could you be the one with scorpio energy sure absolutely um you know it could be vice versa but i feel as though you're overcoming it with the chariot right behind it and the again the hermit is right behind that you get to the bottom of it you expose it you overcome it whether it's you them them you i feel like there's a virgo involved here whether it's you or your energy or theirs um let me get i want to get a quick peek at the queen of wands or queen of swords give me one card on the queen of swords even though i know that's your energy i still want to just get a little peek at it tell me about queen of swords is there anything we need to know gemini energy uh, Ge uh gemini reading i'm so sorry gemini reading queen of swords energy yeah you're the one that got devastated by all this Ten of Swords. But again, you're overcoming it. No doubt about it. You're overcoming this. Um, something about this. And again, you get to the bottom of it and you overcome it. And look at this at the bottom. And you cut ties with an, a fire sign. <coughs> Hierophant reversed. And oh my gosh, the Five of Swords behind that. You cut ties with a fire sign that was manipulating you. This person was doing something. It had to do, I feel, with greed. We had several greed cards that came up here. But the truth's coming out. I can't wait to know what this is. I hope you guys will chime in down below. Ignite your passion. Embrace an energy of peace and shift your perception. I feel like that, that all has more to do with you just taking the high road make sure you keep taking the high road because this person's hanging themselves this fire sign or two fire signs they're either a couple working together or they're um oh they're the are they the team okay so they could be the team of people working together so be careful with that i'm not sure if they're one person or two people working together but i do feel like there could be a second person coming in to work with you um, but either way, just make sure you keep taking the high road. I feel like somebody looked into this or got to the bottom of this. This could be this, this could be a business person that found out something about these fire signs doing something financial secrets, the truth's coming out. It's going to help end a cycle. Uh, the truth about this, I feel like it definitely feels like a money thing. Lots of tens. We're going to close out this cycle with the world here. This is coming to a close, but something had to be exposed first. This had to be done this way. It was about divine timing. Did I pull angel cards for you guys? I'm going to pull some if I didn't. Um, I'm not sure that I did. Okay, listen, guys. The If if you're watching this, today is Sunday. If you if you don't know already, um, I always I always put something out on Saturdays for you. This week, I'm really shooting for getting the monthlies out to you guys. But if I don't, something else will be out there. But I did these first. So these were recorded first. So I don't know if the monthlies got put out yesterday. But something definitely got put out yesterday. 
my plan is to have the monthlies out for you. So don't forget to check and see if yesterday morning, that means you would have a whole lot of big readings to watch this week, the monthlies and the weeklies, okay? So do check them out. And if not, something else went out for you guys. But there's a lot of dailies and, and weekend. There's a weekend reading. That, the dailies and the weekend reading were really, really good this week. Really good. There's all kinds of other readings out there for you guys too. Love readings and twin flame readings and all kinds of stuff. All right. So angels, what do we need to know here for this Gemini reading? From the bottom. Freedom. Wow contentment and exploration all right the exploration see how somebody looked into something it reminds me of the hermit which we had come out twice in this reading trying to get to the bottom of something contentment and freedom wow so whatever this is is finally going to allow you to contently without being betrayed anymore Get the information and the truth of something. That's what's going to bring you the contentment is finally getting the truth about something. <coughs> Excuse me. And finally being able to have your freedom to close out an old cycle. I feel like somebody really did you dirty and you're about to find out all the information. The clarity, the information, it's all coming in for you. And you're getting a new beginning. I feel like there could be another person who you will partner up with in this. If not, then it's just this energy of, um, I do. I definitely feel like there's another person that's helping you or that got to the bottom of this. I don't know if it's a business or if it's, I don't know if it's an investigator. I don't know if it's, um. A partner in some way it could be your partner but whatever it is it's like the two of you working together to protect you know what's yours and to expose whatever these people were doing these fire signs something they were doing they, they're either Scorpio or Aries Leo or Sagittarius or, either, or there's two of them all right, I hope this helps somebody. Guys, let me know. Comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Please do like, share, subscribe. This could even be a group of people because we have a lot of unhappiness. It could be family. It could be work. Anyway, guys, have a good one. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.